The National Center for Construction, Education and Research presents Build Your Future 2004. The National Center, together with its publishing partner, Prentice Hall, develops and publishes the industry's leading construction curricula, the CONTRAN Learning Series. Consider the National Center and CONTRAN the answer to all your construction education needs. Why are you contacting me? I do. Of course you do. Who are you? I'm Jane, the one on the computer. But you were just... It's a video, kid. Just go with it. So far, it just seems like a cheesy rip-off in the Matrix to me. Tell me about it. I have to play this part and do all the voiceovers. It's a tight budget. Besides, the reason I'm here is to save you. Save me? Of course. Every day you sit in this cubicle doing the same thing. It's a job. There's a difference between a job and a career. And I know just the man who can help you. Who? Constructus. During this program, you'll meet the talented men and women of the construction industry as they build America. We'll fly to Boston's Logan International Airport as Mass Electric Construction Company powers the new Delta Terminal. We'll also travel to Texas to work with KBR at the BP Chocolate Bayou Petrochemical Plant and then head over to Houston with TD Industries as they transform the Compact Center into the largest church in the country, Lakewood Church. We'll light the way with Zachary's construction of a power plant in sunny Florida. Then, we'll visit Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport as they construct their fifth runway. Then we'll head north to Denver with Hensel Phelps as they construct one of the world's largest convention centers, the Colorado Convention Center. And we'll work with Delta Diversified Enterprises as they light up a beautiful clubhouse in Scottsdale, Arizona. This project is a custom clubhouse for a, for a golf course here in the valley. Uh, it incorporates every, every spa amenity that you can think of for, um, for the golfer. The developer of this project had been touring France and had seen a, an old wood barn that um, was going to be torn down and he saw a vision of how that could be incorporated in a special facility here in the United States and he purchased that barn and they harvested all of the wood, the antique, uh, weatherized wood from that project and they've, they've transported it into the, over to the United States and incorporated it into this job. You get presented a challenge, here's what the client wants, and you have to sit back and think of the solution. Those wood beams in particular required a, a great deal of, of forethought in how to you know, get a receptacle in a wood column that can't be seen, you can't see how it's been fed from any angle, uh, and, and that required a lot of effort. As you walk up on a project, you really can't tell if a recept's been energized or you don't see the machine in the background. What you do see is that architectural lighting as you walk up to a project. The first thing your, your, the customers and the client are going to see, that in, in my opinion reflects the whole project. I love the physical part about what I do. I love being out there working hard, feeling good at the end of the day. Uh, and I also love the, the mental aspect of it. You're always challenged mentally. When I came over here, there was nothing here. And now when I leave, it'll be completed. And I can come back here for the rest of my life and see what I did. The beauty of it is, is seeing something come out of the ground and then being able to go back when it's done and say, I did that. We're always trying to build a stronger organization and a better team. Any new people that we bring into the company, uh, we either get them involved in the apprenticeship training program or we have hired people from the apprenticeship 
training program. Delta is very good about the training and de-education. Uh, they sponsor a lot of the employees uh, that, are, that are qualified to go into the school and they pay for the books, they pay for their tuition, and they support them in every way, shape, or form. Uh, I've graduated from the Arizona Builders Alliance uh, apprenticeship program and I've done uh, more than 8,000 hours of, of electrician type work and now my career is going towards estimating. I've always been very ambitious about what I want out of life and uh, I someday want to be the Vice President of Delta Diversify because I think this is such a great group of people and it's really a great company. It's probably one of the most successful things that an individual that owns a company can have or to have those young people want to be part of your organization and feel like that they are part of it. Uh, you're only as good as the people with you. Construction demands excellence and the skills of qualified craft professionals. You only go so far in the trade just pulling wire or bending pipe. The more skilled you are, the more complicated tasks you'll be exposed to, the further you can go in your career. Every day is a new challenge and every day is a new learning curve and I actually just said that to my boss today that every day I'm learning something. To be a successful craftsperson you have to um, work well with your hands, you have to um, problem solve and, and think on your feet and if you can do those things, the sky's the limit. I take pride in my work because I love what I do and I also want a quality finished product. Anything I've done I pride myself in. I don't like to do things unless they're done right and if something's worth doing it's worth doing right. This is the, uh, the Delta Terminal A redevelopment project. It consists of two buildings, approximately 600,000 square feet total between the two buildings. We are doing the fire alarm system here, um, as well as the lighting, the power. Um, security is a major part of this job, um, being an airport. We do every aspect of electrical construction from the ground up. When Mass Electric first showed up in my school, you know, they said that there's always a place to uh, grow and to move, and that I think that's what attracted me the most, just because I'm young and I'm willing to go anywhere. But it's been a great experience getting out in the field, working with the foreman, um, working on with the cost and the budget, making sure that the project's on schedule and going to be on time. I feel pretty good about getting this job done just because when I'm flying out of here I can say, you know, this is something that I worked on. So when the project is complete and everything's nice and shiny and finished, I can say, you know, I worked in, on that, I was a part of that. When this job is done, it, it will make me proud to know that millions of people will pass through this airport and I was a part of constructing this. This plant will provide about 230,000 homes of electricity on a daily basis. A pipe fitter mainly, uh, he starts off with, a, with an ISO or a drawing, blueprint drawing, and uh, it tells you what they want and what size pipe they want and how they want it routed. And from there, you start by having a pipe for them and install it and connect it to the underground piping and run it over to wherever they need it at in the plant for uh, many different products. Anything from gas lines to drinking water. Teamwork is very important because uh, you have to feel comfortable with the people you work with. We help each other, and this is a piece of a stainless steel pipe, two-inch pipe, that we're gonna cut. Every item, every pipe we work on is plumb, square, and level. This pipe will go inside another fitting, so as long as you cut it as, as square as possible, you'll be fine. But this is what we call a wraparound. This is what we use to make sure that the line is, is straight. Now what comes next is, once the pipe is clean, we have a two inch coupling. It's a socket weld coupling, we call it, and it goes right here. If I'm getting a one inch right here, I'm supposed to get the same over here. 
and if I'm not getting the same measurement, what I need to do is lower this down. It needs to be precise because if you don't, if you don't do it straight from the beginning, everything else from there is going to be crooked. You just have to work hard and, and show pride in your work and, and uh, you can go places. This construction is cool, but I, I still don't understand. Understand? Understand what? Uh, we were just... We? We... Uh... We... Yeah, Leo. We, we just... Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, you seem to be having a problem with your position with this company. Leo, you're working for one of the greatest companies in the world. Why? Because it just is. Now you have two choices you can You can make. either continue can to sit at your desk doing your reports. Or you can be like me. Or you can be Come part really? of constructing these great buildings really? we all use every day. Did you, did you hear that? Hear what? Oh. Leo, are you feeling okay? You Leo? Yeah. Hey man, you? Yeah, yeah. Sit here. Thanks man. Yeah, hey, have a good Jump. one. Hello? You were meant for better things, Leo. You're that guy I heard inside my head or, or outside. That's not important. Go to the door. Go now, Leo. Go now. If the opportunities are there, if you uh, reach out and grab them, if you have the proper skills. Uh, young people are our lifeblood. This industry has never slowed down in history since they built the pyramids. If you have uh, actual training in pipe fitting, uh, you can work just anywhere in the United States and anywhere just about in the world. Hensel Phelps is very big on promoting from within. We preach it we, and we do it. We don't just talk about it. People we have within our company, there are some that are even vice presidents that started out as a laborer. If you put your best foot forward and, and take opportunity of all the training that's available out there, both in the schooling programs and on the field, there's no limit to how far you can go. In fact, you can start learning right now like the students at Mount Zion High School in Georgia. It's not really work, it's more, you know, just being around people and enjoying you know, getting the job done. You get to see it from the beginning to the end. And you get to see it like grow. I like it. Well, whenever you're in construction, you know, you have the satisfaction of building something on your own, and whenever you're done with it, you have a complete product that you built all by yourself. And so it gives you a real good sense of satisfaction knowing that you built it. I look back on work and I go, oh my God, I did this. I mean, that's amazing because not everybody can say that they've actually built something. A lot of the kids feel like what they learn in school it does not pertain later on in life. They feel like, you know, you're learning all this stuff, where am I going to use it? In this class, you actually learn things that you can use out in life. Ever since I was a little boy, I saw the many plants around Texas, especially the Gulf Coast, and I've always wondered, what did they do there? to buy your facility has two main products. They make olefins, which is really a feedstock for the common plastic bottles that are used for pop and soda cans and water, as well, well as polypropylene that's used in a lot of carpeting and other products. We're doing a tremendous job to reduce environmental pollution, improve the efficiency, which saves gas and other components that are used in making the product. A skilled workforce is the most valuable resource that we do have on this project. You can't do a project of this order of magnitude without having a skilled workforce. People tend to think that it's just putting pipe up. Well, there's a lot more involved, like knowing your material, knowing what size valves go where, gaskets, bolts, knowing what kind of metal uh, you can weld together. Training is very important uh, to educate and know what, what, what assignment we're going to do to do it in a safe manner and be able to execute that plan. I think it's a, a wonderful feeling to know that we are here putting systems together so that these products can be refined and produced and then sent out to where they're needed. But we also need the skills to maintain the facilities, to keep things working the most effective, efficient way. I love working on my hands. It's an awesome thing to do out here. It's just a lot of fun just being able to build something and look back on it later on. I enjoy and have the gratification at the end of the day that I've actually accomplished something uh, and you can actually see that accomplishment. Welcome Leo. I am Constructus.
Why am I here? You are here because you have a choice to make, Leo. This is your last chance. After this, there's no going back. You can walk out that door, this video ends, and all you go back to class. Or you can put these on and find out what your future holds. Hurry, kid, pick one. We only have 20 minutes for this entire video. Is this pair broken or something? Did you really think a pair of goggles was going to show you what your future holds? Well, yeah. I said, did you really think a pair of goggles was going to show you what your future holds? Tape's jammed. It's rolling. The people that work in the field that are the trade workers are really the heart and soul of the industry. It was something that I, that I did that will be around for a long time that I can ride by and look at every day and say, wow, look at that, I was a part of it. I like when the job is done, you know, and it's all over with that. You could go by there and say, I built that, I was part of that. And this is probably one of the few industries that you can, on a daily basis, walk away from something and see the result of your hard work for that day. The honorable men and women of the Naval Construction Force, known as Seabees, make a real difference. Seabees construct bases, airstrips, roads, and hospitals that support American troops and improve the quality of life for others all around the world. Captain Will C. McCarroll, Commander Robin Eastman, and Command Master Chief James Fairbanks receive the United States Military Bronze Star for heroic or meritorious achievement of service for their construction and engineering efforts. Their battalion center in Gulfport also received the Hard Hat Heroes Award in recognition of heroic conduct and the professional application of their construction skills. The CB's motto is, with compassion for others we build, we fight for peace with freedom. I chose a career in construction because it was something that um, was different and that not many women pursued. As an intern, you get to be exposed to a lot of different parts of the construction process. Through my internship, I have learned that construction is definitely the place I want to be because I have so much fun going out and seeing things be built and communicating with the other subcontractors. It's better to see exactly what you're working with instead of just learning it out of a book. I think my opportunities for when I graduate are going to be tremendous because of the internships that I took when I was in high school and throughout college. It's our job to leave monuments of our own so that people can find it 50, 100, 2,000 years from now. The purpose of this project is we're transforming an entertainment center and a sports complex into one of the largest churches worldwide for Lakewood International Center. This center will, will actually seat approximately 20 to 25,000 at each service. Basically a general superintendent takes care of all the production levels on the job site and we take care of uh, not only dealing with owners but dealing with general contractors. We're in the big picture of, of getting a construction site from a lot of times from the dirt or renovations into a finished product for a, a customer. As a superintendent, I'm a, I problem solve. I do a lot of coordination, I schedule, I plan jobs. I go in between the architects and the engineers. TV Industries is the best place that I've worked for. The company offers a free schooling, anything I want that's associated with my trade. TD Industries invests in training our employees uh, because they know that it will make the construction industry better as a whole. Probably the most I love about my job is the people I get to deal with. One of the things I like about my job is being a superintendent is being able to go through the city and point out the buildings that I you know, had a big part of building. I enjoy it because it's uh, a lot more fast paced. You're always, you're always busy. There's, there's new um, tasks, there's new opportunities, new uh, problems to solve. Uh, every day, so it's something it's something new every day. With great skills and a great attitude, the earning potential in the construction industry is enormous. 
With many crafts to choose from and excellent earning potential, a career as a craft professional is rewarding and meaningful. Or you may choose construction management, which offers a wide range of positions, from project superintendent to project manager to executive management. Well, without construction, we wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't have houses. Uh, we wouldn't have buildings to work in. I mean, it's just it's a vital factor to the economy. It's going to move people around a lot faster and make it really convenient uh, for those that are from out of town to see the city and to uh, see different events and what Boston has to offer. I would say a facility like this has a great impact um, on, a, on an area like this from every tradesperson that is employed during construction to then every uh, employee of the facility when it's done. I think it's had a great impact on, on the overall community. Everything you do revolves around something that somebody built. When you think about it, construction is really the backbone of the economy. It's my responsibility to help our team be accountable to the community on our projects. We actually bring students down to our job site, explain what developers, architects, engineers, craftspeople do, um, talk to students about how they can get involved in the industry. Uh, we're looking to recruit them, that's really the goal, to recruit young and diverse individuals into our industry. Our mission is really to make a difference in the communities in which we live and build, and that's really Hansel Phelps' philosophy. Colorado Convention Center expansion is a $308 million expansion to the existing Colorado Convention Center. It uh, more than doubles the size of the convention center. As a project manager, I'm responsible for the general oversight of the overall project. What I love about construction is the challenge. There's, you're never doing the same job every day. It's just absolutely amazing how much goes on day in and day out in construction. I'm fascinated every day I come to work. I just can't wait to come to work get out in the field and see the work go in place is really the best satisfaction you can have. We don't have the craftspeople out here who are knowledgeable, who are dependable, who, who are safety oriented. This, this business won't work. This construction company would not be here. There's, you know, 500 people on this project and uh, the thrill is to get them all working together as a team. You can see all the work that's going on in place at one time. So all the, super, all the supervisors need to get together and they need to communicate with each other. So they know the direction that you're going, that I know the direction they're going. You know, I feel very, very privileged and I feel very, very special that I am a part of this project. When we're done with the Colorado Convention Center here, all of us and myself, we're going to feel a tremendous amount of pride. So what do we do now? You see, Leo, it's not that the hammer is bending. What is all this? Can we turn the work lights on, please? Oh, Constructo. It's Constructus. You know, we got a building to build. Let's get back to work, okay? Back to work. James? <sighs> so, what, what do we do? I'll show you. Build Your Future 2004 was brought to you through generous contributions from 3M, Associated Builders and Contractors, Associated General Contractors of America, Adena Corporation, Caterpillar, Corey Delta, Delta Diversified Enterprises, Floor Corporation, Hensel Phelps, ISN Software Corporation, Johnson Brothers, KBR, Nova Group, Peter Kiewit Sons Incorporated, Prentice Hall, Retirement Systems of Alabama, Sunt Corporation, The Haskell Company, TIC, The Industrial Company, Zachary Construction Corporation.